Exodus chapter 15, from what I understand, one of the oldest recorded songs of worship in the Bible. It's, well, you know the story, they're backed up against the Red Sea, the Egyptians are coming, Moses has brought them to that place and they, why'd you bring us out here? And God does something miraculous. He parts the sea and all the Israelites go across the Red Sea and then as the Egyptians come, you know, the sea caves in and here's what happens afterwards. They begin to sing. And the song is full of the character and the power and the majesty and the holiness of God. Let me read a couple of verses. Verse two, the Lord is my strength and my song and he's become my salvation. He's my God and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. All of Israel begins to sing. Miriam and Aaron and Moses, they're all worshiping God. Here's another verse. It says, your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy into pieces. They're, well, they're just amazed at what God has done. And one more verse of one of the oldest songs that we've ever heard. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? This wonder, well, it set them free. And there's times when we're backed up, we think God's not ever gonna do anything and is he gonna come through? And he does. And God is an amazing God, worthy of our praise, because he does amazing things to deliver us when we think it's all over.